Unit 2, Electronic Data Processing System Overview This unit gives you an idea about data processing and data processing cycle. Further, stages of data processing cycle and types of data processing will be introduced in this unit. Moreover, the electronic data processing system and its elements will be presented too. Learning Objectives At the end of the unit, you should be able to Discuss data processing. Describe data processing cycle. Recognize the stages of data processing cycle. Classify the types of data processing. Explain the electronic data processing system. Categorize the methods of EDP system. Distinguish the elements of EDP system. Data processing refers to converting raw data into meaningful information, and these data are machine readable as well. Thus, data processing involves collecting, recording, organizing, storing, and adapting or altering to convert the raw data into useful information. The data processing cycle consists of a series of steps where raw data, input, is fed into a system to produce actionable insights, output. Each step is taken in a specific order, but the entire process is repeated in a cyclic manner. The data processing cycle consists of steps to convert your raw data into actionable and meaningful information. Generally, data processing cycle consists of the following six stages, data collection, data preparation, data input, data processing, data output and data storage. Data collection the collection of raw data is the first step of the data processing cycle. The type of raw data collected has a huge impact on the output produced. Data preparation Data preparation is the process of sorting and filtering the raw data to remove unnecessary and inaccurate data. Raw data is checked for errors, duplication, miscalculations, or missing data, and transformed into a suitable form for further analysis and processing. Data input in this step, the raw data is converted into machine-readable form and fed into the processing unit. This can be in the form of data entry through a keyboard, scanner, or any other input source. Data processing, in this step, the raw data is subjected to various data processing methods using machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms to generate a desirable output. Data output. The data is finally transmitted and displayed to the user in a readable form like graphs, tables, vector files, audio, video, documents, etc. This output can be stored and further processed in the next data processing cycle. Data storage The last step of the data processing cycle is storage, where data and metadata are stored for further use. Types of data processing have phenomenally grown with rising demands from manual data processing to automation. The types of data processing techniques that depend on the information that needs to be captured and how soon you need it is as follows, manual data processing, mechanical data processing, electronic data processing, batch data processing, real-time data processing, online data processing, and automatic data processing. Manual Data Processing The manual data processing method is where data entry specialists record and process data manually through the ledger, paper record systems, and more manual data entry process. Mechanical Data Processing Mechanical data processing processes data through mechanical devices such as typewriters, mechanical printers, and other devices. Electronic Data Processing In 1980, with the birth of computers, Electronic Data Processing EDP, marked its existence. In EDP, the computer seamlessly processes the data automatically with predefined instructions from the data specialists. Batch Data Processing Batch Data Processing Process data by providing actions to multiple data sets through a single command. Real-time Data Processing Real-time processing came into existence with the advent of the Internet. Online data processing, online data processing is often confused with real-time data processing, both receive and process data simultaneously, but with online processing, the user can extract data anytime, anywhere. Automatic data processing, 
today's millennials are entering the new age of data processing with the entry of artificial intelligence. Automatic information processing is usually referred to as EDP system, or electronic data processing system. Computers are used to alter, record, classify, and summarize data. When asked what electronic data processing system is, it is simply the act of processing data using electronic tools like computers, calculators, servers, and other devices of a similar kind. The most effective illustration of an electronic data processing device is a computer. Processing data electronically is a precise and quick technique of doing it. There are various methods of data processing but there are some very popular methods when it comes to electronic data processing. These methods are widely adopted in almost every industry. Depending on the nature of requirement of data processing, some of the most popular methods of electronic data processing are time sharing, real time processing, online processing, multi processing, multitasking, interactive processing, batch processing, and distributed processing. Time sharing, in this processing method, many nodes connected to a CPU access central computer. A multi-user processing system controls the time allocation to each user. Real-time processing, providing accurate and up-to-date information is the primary aim of real-time processing. It is possible when the computer processes the incoming data. Online processing, in this processing method, the data is processed instantly it is received. A communication link helps to connect the computer to the data input unit directly. Multiprocessing, multiprocessing is processing of more than one task that uses the different processors at the same time of the same computer. Multitasking, it is an essential feature of data processing. Working with different processors at the same time is called multitasking. Interactive processing, this method includes three types of functions. The following are the types of functions are peak detection, integration, and quantitation. Batch processing, batch processing is a method of the process the organized data into divided groups. In this method, the processing data can be divided as a group over a required time period. Distributed processing, this method is usually used for remote workstations, since the remote workstations are connected to a big workstation. The customers get the better services from this process. The computer is a system consisting of several interrelated parts and the electronic data processing system has four basic elements, such as, hardware, software, procedure, and personnel. All the physical parts, including the devices or peripherals involved in data processing constitute the hardware. Devices like input, output, storage, and CPU itself are the four functional parts of the hardware. An input device is any hardware device that sends data to a computer, allowing you to interact with and control it. The most commonly used or primary input devices on a computer are the keyboard and mouse. However, there are other devices that input data into a computer. Types of input devices Audio conversion device. Barcode reader. Biometrics, example fingerprint scanner. Business card reader. Data collection device. Digital camera and digital camcorder. E.g., electroencephalography. Finger, with touch screen or Windows touch. Game pad, balance board, dance pad, joystick, steering wheel, pedals, and Microsoft Kinect. Gesture recognition. Graphics tablet. Guitar, or another musical instrument connected to the computer. Keyboard. Light gun. Light pen. Magnetic ink, like the ink found on checks. Magnetic stripe reader. Magnetic ink character recognition, MICR. Medical imaging devices, example X-ray, CAT scan, and ultrasound images. Microphone, using voice speech recognition or biometric verification. Motion sensing mouse or game controller. Mouse, touchpad, or other pointing devices. Musical instrument digital interface, MIDI, keyboard. Optical mark reader, OMR. Paddle. 
pen or stylus. Punch card reader. Remote. Radio frequency identification, RFID, reader. Scanner. Sensors, example heat and orientation sensors. Sonar imaging devices. Stylus, with touch screen. Touch sensitive pad, like pad on early iPod. Touch screen. Voice, using voice speech recognition or biometric verification. Video capture device. Virtual device. Virtual reality, VR, helmet and gloves. Webcam. And yoke. An output device is a piece of computer hardware that receives data from a computer and then translates that data into another form. That form may be audio, visual, textual, or hard copy such as a printed document. Visual, print, sound and data are types of output. Examples of output devices. Braille reader. Computer speakers. GPS. Headphones. Monitor. Printer. Projector. Sound card. Speech generating device. Video card. Digital data storage is essentially the recording of digital information in a storage medium, usually by electronic means. The storage device typically enables a user to store large amounts of data in a relatively small physical space and makes sharing that information with others easy. The device may be capable of holding the data either temporarily or permanently. Digital data storage media generally fall into one of five categories, magnetic storage devices, optical storage devices, flash memory devices, online or cloud storage, and paper storage. Digital data storage devices for computers. Hard drive disks. Floppy disks. Tapes. Compact disks. CDs, DVD and Blu-ray discs, USB flash drives, secure digital cards, SD cards, solid-state drives, SSDs, cloud storage, punch cards. Alternately referred to as a processor, central processor, or microprocessor, the CPU is the central processing unit of the computer. A computer's CPU handles all instructions it receives from hardware and software running on the computer. The major function of the CPU is to understand data coming from a peripheral or computer program and translate it into what it needs. The CPU either outputs data to your monitor at this point or handles the peripheral's requested action. Two primary components of the CPU. ALU, Arithmetic Logic Unit performs mathematical, logical, and decision operations. CU, control unit, directs all the processor's operations. Software is something that makes the hardware work. It includes a set of instructions that tells the computer what all actions to perform to achieve a specific output. EDP software is highly customized and available in the following categories. System software, generally, this is the software needs to be installed first before the other software. The function of this software is to serve as mediator between the interaction of peopleware and hardware. Application software, this type of software was built with a reason which is to solve specific problems and perform detailed functions other computer related tasks. Data entry software, Applications for data entry can range from usual spreadsheet applications such as Excel to extremely customized point-of-sale programs. Scheduling software, applications that track the activities, movements, and involvement of employees entities in projects. Accounting software, software designed to track financial or numerical transactions. It also helps to apply formulas to the track data and is used to link with other analytical devices for predictive or historical modeling purposes. Analytics software, designed specifically for the purpose of data analysis, this software can accept large volumes of specific data and produce customizable, flexible reports. Ancillary software, software packages such as OCR, optical character recognition, are available to cull text and other data from the resulting image file. Certain basic steps are often followed in digital data processing, 
regardless of the industry or the type of data being collected. Data capture, acquisition of data in some format. Data conversion, transforming data into digital format. Data validation, evaluation of data to ensure whether it is in the correct format. Sorting, grouping similar data streams. Aggregation, combining data streams. Data analysis, processing of the data using formulas and other transformative techniques. Reporting, creation of human readable reports. People who create, administer, and feed the EDP system constitute the final element. They include Programmers, creating EDP systems or individual components, such as spreadsheet macros or formulas. Technicians, those involved in installing and maintaining hardware. Data entry specialists, those entering data into the system.